morning everybody is that how you pronounce it i'm not even going there so let's start again welcome everybody train simulator let's play i don't know about all the safety systems on this uh I'm not even really going to go there on it because uh, this is my first my first go down here. I don't know the line and I'm pretty useless on these uh, safety systems. I don't even know what safety systems they use on these trains up here. Was it PZB, LZ, LZB and CIFA? Something like that. I don't even know how you switch them on. I think you have to switch the PZB on with the shift button. I'm not too sure. Shift and 8. Maybe. Uh, an LZB. Oh, here you go. Let's forget about the safety systems because we're not using them. Little bit of eye candy coming down the line here as we're waiting for passengers to load up here at the station. There we go. Look at that. So we're in Karlsruhe, if I pronounce that right. My pronunciations of these places are going to be absolutely terrible. I'm probably totally wrong. And we're going down, straight down to Offenburg, I think it is. Uh, again, probably pronounced that wrong, but uh, hey-ho. I'm from Stoke and we speak Potters here. Uh, so yeah, my pronunciations are probably going to be all off. But I will put full details in the video description below of this route, etc, etc. So I believe this train gets up to some high speeds. So this could be interesting. Oh, we're away, we're away. Right, click that off. Break. Release. Oh, we need the reverse and forward. It's saying something to me. I hope we've not got the safety systems on here, so I really am going to struggle with this. A little bit of power. 60 kilometer speed limit as we leave the station here. play about with these uh, with these cameras that, that guy there look at him there that I'm sure that looks like one of the uh, the fishing team game developers fishing sim world pro tour I think his name's Steve I'm not too sure he looks anyway regardless I'm gonna call that guy Steve because he looks a little bit worried on my train <laughs> It looked a spitting image of one of the game developers. I don't know if that's just a just a coincidence, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on. Let's play Train Simulator. graphics are going to be like on this because I struggle with the settings there seems to be an awful lot of settings graphic wise particularly for the uh, anti-liaising uh, side of it on this game and I always struggle what are the best settings for this so if you have any advice on this game whatsoever regarding best settings um, put them in the comments section below I am of course, if you watch my Train Sim World 2 videos, I am of course trying to learn the, uh, the safety systems regarding the PZB uh, on Train Sim World 2. I'm not, I have to say I'm doing quite well on it, but I'm not even going to attempt um, the safety systems on this game, uh, on Train Simulator. I'm going to concentrate learning on, uh, on the Train Sim World 2. Regarding such safety systems, 
I like this view. I do like that view. I like the autumn look of the line going down here. We've got quite a foggy day today. Oh, he's a train. I like the sound as it went past. I could actually hear it. I like that. I like the overall sounds actually in this game. The rickety, rickety clack and clang of the line that you occasionally hear. As you go over the switches, I think it is. How's Steve getting on on the train? There he is. Still looking a little bit worried. As far as I know, it's a one-stop, well it is a one-stop express line, run, whatever you call it, whatever the thingy-majiggy correct terms are. Hopefully, we will be on time. Hopefully it's not going to be any red lights, I'm not anticipating any red lights, I really are, because I'm just, I'm just adhering as close as I can to the actual uh, speed restrictions for the line. A lot of detail on this map, isn't there? Lots of detail. I always find with the train simulator products that does generally seem to be a lot of detail. Steve doesn't look very impressed, he still looks worried. <laughs>
just speeding slightly, just have to try and scrub off some of that speed. Just coast it. Uh, might be best. I don't know, I'd probably stay at 155 kilometres an hour, perhaps, to uh, maintain the speed. Slow down here. Approaching 120 kilometers an hour speed restriction. We need a little bit of brake going on, models. So we may derail depending on what's ahead. Uh, we're coming to a 110 mile, not mile an hour, it's kilometers. Kilometers, models. 110 kilometers an hour that we're approaching. The speed restriction. How do I know this? It's not because I can read all the signals, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm using that hood that's on the screen and it tells me. And then little yellow boxes that are scrolling along. Looks like we will be approaching turbo mode soon, where we will be able to go to 250 kilometers an hour. Wow. And the speeding slightly. Doesn't matter. We'll soon be uh, powering away as we approach this new speed. Restriction. There we go. Looks like we. 
just gone into turbo mode. I don't know what, what they call it. But all of a sudden the train gains more power and you can go a lot faster. I know nothing about it, so I can't, I can't tell you anything about it. I know nothing about this locomotive. I'm not remotely going to pretend that I do. I know nothing. You've got a professional idiot as your train driver today. You know, and that just that just shows anybody can play these train games um, how you want want to play them. Play them with the very basics, all the safety systems are for you can play them professionally, real sim like with all the safety systems on. You don't have to be afraid to just get in and uh, just play, just, just go and, and learn as you go along. That, that's what I do. How's Steve getting on? He's looking, yeah, he's still looking a bit worried. Yeah, yeah. I think he'll be glad to get off my train. That sounded real cool, didn't it, when that train went past? That sounded good. Well, I thought so. If we go any faster, we'll be taking off.
making noises, making noises at us. I presume maybe this is a good time. think about slowing down possibly I don't know so I'll just coast along for a bit I'm just coasting along now, I think we need to consider slowing the train down, man. Oh, achievements a lot there, top right hand corner. We got a couple of little awards there, Wobbles. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here, I might be slowing down too quickly. I am not sure. Oh. Like that. Like the sound when them big, them big trains, when, when the other train comes past. I like the sound. I could be slowing down too early. Which will throw me late. I think I've been on time up until now. I don't think I've done too bad, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I can see on my little hood I'm approaching a speed restriction. Now. Of 160 kilometres. which I'm now doing so that was perfect like a pro like a professional I couldn't have timed that better actually slowing down absolutely spot on what a professional driver anybody I think you know what you're doing wobbles wow so we're just approaching 160 kilometer speed restriction I'll just take it all. I'm doing 150 kilometres. I'll just, uh, I'll just get it up to speed just slightly. Oh, it's making more noises to us. Maybe we should be slowing down even more now. Looks like it's a good time to start slowing the train down to 80 kilometres an hour. I couldn't have timed that slowing down any better. I could pro. approaching the station and it looks like train driver Wobbles is actually going to be on time for once possibly maybe could be we'll have to wait and see That my overall performance was pretty poor though. What Steve think? Does Steve think we're going to be on time? Yeah, he, he doesn't look very impressed, does he? Must be thinking about his fishing game. Right. I think this is quite a long train. I, I, I don't know 
They have the little halt signs, don't they, at the side of the station where to stop your train on these sort of routes. Eight above the sign. What does that mean? Tell me in the comment section below. Do you know? Quickly type it in, type it in before I tell you the answer. Pay attention now. Eight above that sign means the current speed restriction on the line is 80 kilometers an hour, I think. Look at that. You're learning, Wobbles. However, we're going to be stopping at this station, so we, we're not going to be doing 80 kilometers an hour and slamming his brakes on. No, we're going, we're going to slow this train down now, like the professional we are. Nice and steady. We don't want to rock the passengers about too much. Right, so here we go. Where do I actually uh, stop then? The actual clock on the station actually ticking and going round, that's quite cool. They've got a big old clock. See if you can see if there's another one, but I swear the mini tand was going round. If so, that is pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. She's looking at her watch, Luke. Yes, madam, we're on time. I think, yeah, these little, here's the clock, is the mini tan going round on that clock? Oh, what's going on here? Making a noise. I'm going to stop right at the end of the station, I think, just to, let's see, that, see that's, that's the, oh, what's going on? This is the back of the train, so we're not quite on the station. So I'm going to stop at the last or near as. Oh, look at that freight train. A little bit of eye candy in front on the left hand side. Freight train, like me freight trains, oh, I do. Right, I'm going to stop right at the end here. Don't know if this is correct, but I think this is quite a long train. Hopefully, if we can figure the camera, uh, uh, camera buttons out. Let's just open the doors. Hopefully, that's the front of the train. Offenberg, that's where we are. Don't know how to pronounce that right. That's the front. Are we on the station? Where's the back? Yes, we are. Oh, look at that. Like a professional train driver wobbles. Well done. I'm, I'm sure we were on time as well. There's a little man in the back of the train, Luke. What's he doing? What's he doing there, that little man? Um, I'm sure... <laughs> Yay, excellent, nice work. So, with such a tight schedule, another driver will now take over from you. So we can go have a break, have a rest, before we have to uh, return back to Colesra. Well, if you pronounce it, that place anyway. All right, switch off. Let's go into the um, our performance. Look, we unlocked some achievements there. I don't know if I did. I didn't do too good, did I? I, I scored. You scored 896, got a couple of achievements there. Let's scroll down. Right. Speeding, 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 speeding. It's on time. We're over speeding just slightly, weren't we? It's not fair that. We're only a couple kilometres over the speed limit at most, but we were on time. So, yeah. Fan dabby dozy, eh? <laughs> so there we go. Um, yep, yeah, we're going round it all up now. That's the end. That's the end. Yeah. So uh, I'll see you all again in another video uh, real soon. Thank you for watching.